Hello, welcome to GoGo -Go Training. My name is Barry Lewis. In this show, we're going to discuss understanding the new process assessment model. To learn more about me and my background, be sure to check out my GoGo -Go Training profile on gogotraining.com. All right, let's get started. In previous versions of COBIT, we use the CMMI maturity model to analyze and determine the current level of IT maturity in our enterprise. In COBIT 5, this is replaced with a new COBIT capability assessment model based on the International Standards Organization's 15504 Standard for Capability Assessments, combined, of course, with ISACA's COBIT processes. It provides a more robust, repeatable, and reliable methodology for process capability determination or for process improvement. And so process capability, you can use it to help improve or to find out where you are and what your current capability is. The assessment process is designed to work with both versions of COBIT, whether you're using 4.1 or whether you've migrated to using COBIT 5. This helps those enterprises that have invested in COBIT 4.1 over the years to gain benefit of the new ISO-related assessment model. So what is capability assessment all about? Well, process capability assessments enable management to evaluate and benchmark IT process capability. It measures both the achievement of goals and the application of good practice. And so we're going to be able to determine whether that process is being enacted in the manner to which you want it to be. There's six levels of capability defined in ISO 15504 that a process can achieve, including an incomplete designation if the practices don't achieve the intended purpose. So zero, one, two, three, four and five are the levels that are available for your organization to consider where you are and to consider where you want to be. Let's go through those levels. Level zero, of course, incomplete. The process is not implemented or it fails to achieve its process purpose. At this level, there's little or no evidence of any systematic achievement of what that process's purpose is. The next level is performed process. It has one attribute. The implemented process achieves its process purpose. Level two is a managed process, different than CMMI, remember. Managed process, there are two attributes associated with this process. The previously described performed process is now implemented in a managed fashion, so it's planned, monitored, and adjusted, and its work products are appropriately established and controlled and maintained. In level three, we're getting higher up that ladder, it's established. It has two attributes as well. We'll go through those. The previously described managed process is now implemented using a defined process that's capable of achieving its process outcomes. Level four makes the process predictable, again with two attributes. The process that's now established operates within defined limits and achieves its process outcomes. And finally, level five, optimizing, well, the previously described process
predictable process is now continuously improved to meet its relevant current and projected business goals. Five key levels, six in total within the ISO standard. There's a significant distinction though between process capability level one and the higher capability levels. In process capability level one, <clears throat> achievement requires the process performance attribute to be largely achieved, which means that the process is being successfully performed and the required outcomes obtained by the enterprise. In other words, we're looking at the COBIT processes and we're looking at the work products and we're ascertaining whether the activities and the work products are being performed in that process. The higher level capabilities, level two to five, add different attributes. <clears throat> in the assessment scheme then, achieving a capability level one, even on a scale of five, is already an important achievement for an enterprise because you are performing that specific process. And that's a goal in and of itself. Remember, you're gonna choose whether you want or need that process to be a level two or a three or a four. ISO 15504 dictates how to rate the processes you're assessing with a clearly defined rating scale. It ranges from a not achieved, less than 15% of objectives, to a partially achieved, between 15% and 50% of the objectives, to largely achieved, we're doing more than half, but less than 85%, and then to a fully achieved, You've, you're doing excellent. Everything, for the most part, is in place. It's over 85% perfect. Remember, nothing has to be actually perfect to be at the top level. This rating scale helps ensure that all assessments are rated the same way, as much as that can be done with individuals. So in order to rate at those levels though, you've got to have objective evidence that they're being achieved. There's a lot going on in capability assessments. Although defining target levels, so I want to be a level three or a level four, is up to each enterprise to decide, many enterprises will have ambition to have all of their processes at least achieve capability level one. Otherwise, what would be the point of having the processes? If this level is not achieved, well, the reasons for not achieving it would be immediately obvious from the approach we've just gone through. And you can put an improvement plan in place. It's a lot of information, but it's a lot of benefit as well. So why would you want to use the capability approach? Well, some of the benefits include improved focus on the performance, on the process being performed to confirm that it actually achieves its purpose and is delivering the required outcomes, improved reliability and repeatability of capability assessment activities and evaluations, reducing debates and disagreements between stakeholders on those assessment results, increased usability of process capability assessment results because the new model established a formal rigorous assessment for internal and external purposes, and compliance with generally accepted process assessment standard, ISO 15504, and so strong support for that approach in the marketplace. I hope you enjoyed today's presentation. If you'd like to learn more about this topic, Go to my course page to see the full course outline. Thanks for tuning in. I look forward to seeing you on gogotraining.com.